Hi, I'm Nick from Wild Oak Films, and today we are gonna be talking about the Warp Stabilizer Wobble and how to remove it in Adobe After Effects. Okay, so here we are in Premiere, and I have this clip with this couple, and I would like to use it in my film, let's say. I like how they're laughing, sitting on the couch, having a good time together, but whenever I play it back, it's, it's really, really shaky, and so much so that it's, you know, too distracting for me. Like, this isn't a kind of clips that I want to use. So, I go over and I apply Warp Stabilizer, which I've already has done, and uh, no motion, all of the normal settings except no motion, and then I put that on. Then whenever you add it, you notice the wobble. And it's so annoying. I mean, it's a, it, Warp Stabilizer is such a great plugin, but this wobble can destroy it. And I know I've had clips before where I want to use it, but I'm like, man, I just can't use that because it's so wobbly. And I thought that the clip was trash and there was nothing else that I could do with it. Well, I have recently learned that you can fix this in After Effects. Uh, the great thing about using Adobe CC is I can import and link directly open into After Effects, which is have an After Effects composition, no After Effects composition. Uh, save it. Here we go. Now, as I'm in uh, After Effects, it is running the warp stabilizer. So what you do, you have your clip selected, click on advanced here, and then click, make sure you click show tracking points right here, and then make them as big as possible. So here we are, when I fit this to the screen, you see all of the tracking points on the entire screen. And so what a warp stabilizer is doing is it's trying to figure out what it is that's moving and trying to keep those things still. So it selects everything and that's when you get the wobble effect is whenever you have people that are moving that you want to move, but the background that is staying still. So what you need to do here is you go in and then you select all of the points that are moving. Okay, so you go through and you'll do something like this on both of the subjects as they move. Now, you'll notice that the windowsill here doesn't move, so you don't need to remove the points from that. His hand pretty much stays still the entire time, so you can leave that there. So then you just go through the clip, just kind of jump um, at, at intervals at the beginning. You know, we're kind of doing a rough cut here and select everything. Delete it jump up again okay then if you go back to the beginning and you unclick this and then you play the clip you'll notice that it's a lot better all of a sudden I mean it is so much better there is a little bit of wiggle here right here now uh, this isn't a perfect fix but it will add a lot and if your focus is here on the faces then most people probably aren't going to notice this kind of thing. But now what you can do is you go select this again, and then now you just kind of uh, go in and refine it. Now make sure you deselect show tracking points, and then you hit play again. And, and that looks really good. Uh, that looks really, really good and really firm and really solid. And I think that this is definitely now a usable clip where before, it wasn't manipulating the footage so that warp stabilizer will work. So if you just save your work and you go back over here into Premiere and here you go. I usually, whenever I do this, I render the selection out. So there you go, a way to remove those wobbles that Warp Stabilizer sometimes gives to your footage. Now you can still use this technique if you have access to After Effects even if you're not using Premiere. All you have to do is import your footage, do the same steps, and then export it and then put it into your editor. So what do you think of this tutorial? Is this something that's gonna help you in the future? I know that it has helped me a lot in the last few weeks since I've used it. Please let me know in the comments below what you think. Give this video a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to our channel. Until next time, see ya.